Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be revisiting one of my favorite reviews of this year in the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I released it back in March and I got a lot of good feedback and people are really enjoying the video and I'm really happy about that. But I thought I'd give you guys a good update on what has changed since the review and how Samsung's actually really improved this experience. First, I wanna address some of the comments that were in that video. The first most popular comment was telling me that I had actually gotten something very wrong in saying that you only have the option to mirror the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra with an external display rather than being able to use it as its own separate display. And I was wrong, and I fully accept that. But I will note that there is a caveat. You can use the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra as its own dedicated display, but it's going to be a standard kind of tablet interface rather than the DeX interface that you'd get on the external display. It's a small difference, but it would make a big change for me in my personal experience in having DeX across multiple monitors rather than just the external display. I also would like to have Samsung support multiple external displays, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get that, at least in this generation. Then, thanks to one of my commenters, I learned that Samsung had given a software update that had fixed one of the biggest problems that I had with the Tab S8 Ultra. The big problem that I had was that the escape button wasn't really working as an escape button in DeX. Instead, it was working as a back button. And that got really frustrating for building financial models in Excel Online or Google Sheets. Thankfully, that is in fact solved. And it makes my experience in the in the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra with DeX so much better. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna issue an immediate retraction because now I'm already having problems with Google Sheets in that while I thought it was significantly better, the problem is now that it's saying that it's having trouble loading for some reason, and I have no idea why it's happening. So I was just trying to record some B-roll of using this and it's still not nearly as good as using it on desktop. So. I think the bottom line is, yes, this could be a stopgap, but if you need a good you know, Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel experience, then get a Windows PC. That's all, thanks. And the fact is, is now, if you are a student that are look, that's looking to get like one great device that could do everything, the Tab S8 Ultra is looking even better. Speaking of that price, we've already seen some substantial discounts on the Tab S8 Ultra. So while the original price was 1200 or 1500 with the keyboard, that's no longer the case, or definitely not on discount. So if you find this device for say eight or $900 with the keyboard, it becomes a lot more compelling option. And definitely in my mind, a better solution than the iPad Pro and a Magic Keyboard, but that might just be me. I put a lot of effort into not directly comparing the experience of using the iPad Pro to the Tab S8 Ultra in my review because frankly, I still think they're very, very different products. And I think a lot of my commenters seem to feel the same way. I didn't get a lot of criticisms or a lot of fanatics saying that iPad versus Galaxy or any of that crap that you'd really usually get in any sort of Galaxy review. But I do want to step and step back and actually compare the devices for a short period of time here. My experience with iPad Pros is that they are incredible, incredible pieces of hardware that can do a lot of great things. And they're great tablet experiences. But when it comes to actually doing any sort of work that I personally want to do, or any sort of use case that matters to me, the iPad becomes mostly just a content watching device. I haven't quite gotten to the point where I can edit videos or edit photos on my iPad Pro because it always seems to just miss the mark a little bit. And while frankly, I don't think I could get to that point specifically for those workflows on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, I am able to do a lot more, like manage my small business through it. That is a big upgrade for me and why I would choose this over the iPad Pro every day. That also helps that I primarily use Android and Windows devices that are more compatible with the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. The iPad Pro only seems to work with my MacBook and an iPhone when I am using it. If it's not up on my channel already, I will be reviewing the smaller Galaxy Tab S8, the, the little one, which I had high hopes for after reviewing this, but just a spoiler, I'm not the biggest fan of. If I do manage to get the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, the kind of middleman, I will be checking it out and reviewing it here on this channel. 
and I have a couple updates when it comes to that. Thank you for watching NOISO. I hope you liked this video updating the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments, like, and subscribe. And check out my other videos covering Galaxy Tab devices. If you haven't already checking out, checked out, checking out? If you haven't already checked out the original review, I hope that you will do so because I put a lot of time and effort into it and it seems that people generally like it. It's a, it's a good video. I like it. it. My editor did a good job. Thank you for watching in a way, so I hope you like this and I'll catch you in the next one.